Hi, I'm John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT server tutorial. In today's video, you'll learn how to add and manage file transfer services on Jscape MFT server. A service is a combination of an IP address or hostname, port, and protocol that accepts requests from file transfer clients. Let me now walk you through the steps of adding a file transfer service. Log in to the Jscape MFT Server Manager. Go to the Domains tab and select a domain. Click the Edit button to configure that domain. Once inside, go to the Services menu. Notice that in our example, we already have an existing FTP service. To add another service, just click the Add button. As you can see from the drop-down list, Jscape MFT Server supports several file transfer protocols, including AFTP, AS2, FTP and FTPS, HTTP and HTTPS, OFTP, SFTP and SCP, as well as WebDAV and WebDAVS. Whew! For this example, let's select SFTP. Specify the IP address and port number on which you want this service to listen on. You can also select a private key for data in motion encryption, as well as an authentication method. Let's just accept all the default values for now. As soon as you click OK, the new service will be added to the Services tab. You may perform additional configurations of existing file transfer services by clicking their respective tabs. For example, for FTP, you can set the passive port range, the default transfer mode, or required data channel encryption, to mention a few. For SFTP, you can set the key exchange algorithms, ciphers, message authentication codes, and compression. The same holds true for the other services. That's it, and that concludes today's video tutorial. Join us again next time for another Jscape MFT server tutorial.